Good morning, everybody. It's time for your Farm and Ranch News. And today we're back at the Women Stepping Forward for Agriculture Conference underway here in Billings. And what a turnout. Lots and lots of ladies from across Big Sky Country here in the Magic City for this year's conference to hear a set of great speakers that are covering a wide range of important topics for our number one industry here in Big Sky Country, agriculture. Now, this morning, I want to visit with Tara Beckin from Big Timber. She's a young producer from that way and one of the organizers of this year's conference. And talk about this year's event because it has just been a tremendous amount of success. Yes, it has, Russell. We're looking at record attendance this year for our conference. And I think we say this every year, but it's definitely shaping up to be the best conference yet. Um, we have a lot of really high-powered speakers and a lot of great activities going on, so we're very excited. You know, we can't talk about all the speakers this morning, but one of those high-powered speakers was a very well-known author, I hear. That's correct. We have Marcy Shimoff. She authored the book Chicken Soup for the Women's Soul. And she just really was a great speaker who could relate to all the farm and ranch women and all of the, the challenges that we face out in rural America. So she's been just, just great. You know, we're going to switch gears and talk with one of those ladies that's out there on the ground farming and ranching every day and keeping this economy strong here in Montana. My friend Doreen Gillespie from Montana's Highline, that Keevan Etheridge country. And Doreen, I believe we talked about you've been coming to this conference since its inception. What keeps bringing you back to the Women Stepping Forward for Ag Conference year in and year out? It's the shot in the arm. It uh, gives you kind of a get up and go feeling when you're when you're through you've got the most amazing speakers and my advice would be young women get out here and come to this because you're the ones that are going to be more involved in the future and this is an amazing conference these women do such an awesome job putting this together and i've never been disappointed and i thank them so much for that you know talk about the importance of telling agriculture's great and important story whether it be like we are we're visiting in person or using this powerful brand new tool we call social media things like facebook yeah it is very important because uh, no one is really, very, very few are aware of what we do. In fact, I was shocked one time riding the train. I told a woman what I did, and she said, wow, I've never met anyone that raised cattle before. And I was like, whoa, because I live around people, and this is my life. So uh, we have to be aware that we need to get our message out there, and we need to be telling the true story rather than being walked on. <laughs> Absolutely, and we thank you for being one of the industry's leaders and one of our biggest advocates as well. Well, thank you so much, and I appreciate you guys for putting this on and letting everyone out there see what a great conference this is. And please, come, you guys. This is amazing. <laughs> Absolutely, and it's our pleasure.